clearly for India to sustain its uh, 8 to 10 percent uh, GDP growth aspirations and really succeed as a nation uh, going forward. Education is absolutely crucial. It's the foundation element. And I think the reforms process, at least from a higher education perspective, which I am more familiar with, uh, is still, uh, it's, it's, the process has slowed down. There's a lot of intent that we saw in the, in, in the initial period of this government. Think about what do you really need in higher education today. You need affordable education, which is accessible to everybody, and then that provides equity as we you know, follow the inclusive uh, agenda of the government. If those three things have to happen, the only answer is uh, using uh, technology, and therefore a digital backbone. Uh, the national knowledge network that is being built, which Dr. Sam Petroda keeps talking about, 1,500 nodes connecting up uh, universities and 10,000 colleges and so on and so forth, that's going to provide, I think, the highway. To us in Manipal, Manipal Education Services, for example, uh, has built a technology platform called Edunex. Today we are servicing more than 200,000 students who are uh, learning higher education through the uh, platform. Uh, we are expanding that. We have The capacity that we have built is to service up to a million students. And we are not only uh, now covering higher education, increasingly beginning to take this agenda to the skills education side as well. There is also another project I heard this morning Dr. Petroda talk about, where they are going to connect up 250,000 villages across the country through a fiber optic network. I think governmental investment, which is a $5 billion investment, I'm told, governmental investment in creating the backbone is already beginning to happen. Telecom companies, the Airtels and the Vodafones and the BSNLs of the world, have been phenomenal in terms of taking this digital connectivity beyond the wire to the wireless mode. I think we are all right, not exceptional, not great. This word broadband has many definitions. The way we are looking at it is not worry about the level of broadband that would typically exist in a Western world. And we focus our attention on what is possible here in India, use that, and then custom design the application and the content so that the experience will still be good. I think we are quite okay.